Last time I showed you the difference between NPN and PMP transistors. Uh, this time we're gonna look how we can use both in combination to build a logic level translator or a logic level shifter. So often you have the case that you have a microcontroller and the microcontroller is powered with 3.3 volt and you have some kind of sensor which is powered by 5 volt and now you want to send a high logic level and this has to be by understood by both one and the logic level for low also so you want to have at the microcontroller it gives you 3.3 volt and you want at the sensor to reach 5 volt and on low you want both to be low so how we can do this uh, the first thing what we have is our microcontroller and that one is powered with 3.3 volt so we just connect it to 3.3 volt and then we have some let's make that a bit more short and it's easier so put that down a bit and then we have our other rail with 5 volt so what we do now is that we have any way to put out a signal to a transistor and for this we use a NPN transistor because we just want to put the signal down. Now we can connect it to 5 volt over some kind of resistors and uh, now we can check what is happening. If I have here 3.3 volt I open the diode and this gives me here some kind of voltage drop uh, more or less 0.2 volt at this point. So if I would connect now here my sensor I would have a problem because I'm coming out with a high voltage level and 0.2 volt and also I have some kind of resistor before and I don't know if the communication likes a high ohmic resistor in front of it. If you liked the video till here leave me a thumb up this helps the channel to grow and to produce more videos like this. So. Thanks a lot and go back to the electronics. So what we can do is that we use the signal we have here, put another resistor inside and now we use a NPN transistor which goes into that direction here and we connect that one here. And now we can have a look what is coming out. When we have here zero volt, we have also here 5 volt so this gives me here a voltage drop of 0.7 volt so this is quite nice so it opens my channel here and at the high state I'm at around 4.8 volt for a high state so what I did is that I have here the 3.3 and also at the microcontroller the 3.3 and gives me the 4.8 at a high stage with this really close to 5 volt. Now let's check on the other side which is happening or what is happening if I have a low side signal or a low signal not a low side signal so I'm coming with 0 volt this gives me no drop over the diode so it's also 0 sorry no drop means also uh, that I'm here at 5 volt and this means that I also have here now 5 volt. This is giving me no channel. So this one is closed. It's meaning that I don't have any voltage here. Uh, I have 0 volt at a logic or at a low level. So this is exactly what I want to have. Perfect. Everything correct. Next time I'm going to show you how we can connect these transistors to build up a current source which is quite nice if you want to charge a battery or something. So see you next time.